somebody. She made herself up. She put eyeshadow. And the Bible says she went and posed seductively. She even arranged her hair. She even had arranged her hair. I'm sure Jezebel's hair was not like mine. I'm sure hers was long. <laughs> I'm sure hers was long. So she arranged her hair. She arranged her hair. She made proper curls. Some flowing down, some going up, so that whichever angle you look at Jezebel, her hair is arranged. Her eyes are shadow. Are you here, somebody? She made herself proper. And the Bible says she went and posed seductively. <laughs> she posed seductively. It means she knew that when I do this, no man can even go beyond that. She knew that there is no way anyone can fight me when I do this. She had her own tricks. Are you here, somebody? Are you here, somebody? She had her own tricks. And her tricks included beauty. Her tricks included seduction. Are you here, somebody? But Jehu did not care. It doesn't matter how you pose to Jehu. Jehu will still kill you. And the Bible says, Jehu looked, <laughs> my God, Jehu looked up the window. The Bible does not say Jehu did not see Jezebel. Jehu looked up. He saw Jezebel. He saw the eyeshadow. He saw the arranged hair. He saw someone who has beautified herself. He saw the seductive pose. Are you here, somebody? Are you here, somebody? But the Bible says, Jehu says, screaming up. He's looking at Jezebel, but he says, whoever is there, who is there who is on my side? Are you here, somebody? Are you here, somebody? And the Bible says, her own eunuchs, her own royal people, the people that were always saving Jezebel day and night. That day, when Jehu just spoke those words, in their heart, they were enticed. Automatically, they changed. All of a sudden, they were no longer on her side. Are you here, somebody? When you get to this realm, when you get to this dimension, people that have always been on the corner of your enemies, you know some things. They get to a certain level because there is someone fueling. Are you here, somebody? You can be in a battle, but sometimes it's a third party fueling your enemy. The people that have been fueling your enemy, all of a sudden, they will change their hearts. Not your enemy, but the people that are helping him. The people will just change their hearts. They will turn and be in your corner. Are you here, somebody? They will turn all of a sudden. They will see that, no, 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 no. This woman, this one is wicked. We can no longer be on her side. We need to be on Jehu's side. And the Bible says, the people threw her down. Are you here, somebody? Are you here, somebody? The eunuchs picked her up and threw her down. And as they threw her down, Jehu now, with his horses, he walked over. Are you here, somebody? Are you here, somebody? When you operate on this level, no matter what battle, no matter how, no matter how it comes, you know sometimes you lose battles because you do not know. That actually that is your enemy. Are you here somebody? Sometimes you lose because you don't even know that actually the one you are busy entertaining is your downfall. You don't know that that is your enemy. Not with Jehu. Not with Jehu. With the same Jezebel, Elijah fled. Ran away. Even wanted to die. But not with Jehu. Jehu says, I don't care the eyelashes, I don't care the lipstick, I don't care the mascara. Are you here, somebody? I will finish you. Are you here, somebody? Jehu says, I don't care how you can pose. I don't care how beautiful you look, but not with me. I will look at you, but you don't do nothing to me. Are you here, somebody? I will look at you, but I will cause your friends to turn against you. They will be the ones to kill you, but it will be my victory. Are you here, somebody? Are you here, somebody? The Bible says, Jehu looked up 
And Jehu said, is there anybody up there on my side? And the eunuchs took Jezebel and threw her down. Can you imagine this is someone they've always seen every day of their lives? This is someone they've been serving for years. All of a sudden, when you get to this realm, it doesn't matter how many years they've been BFFs. It doesn't matter how many years they've been the best advisors. When you get to this realm, even the best of the best in the corner of your enemies, they will turn around and they will be in your corner. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.